Recently, in just a time of just seeking the Lord, I was asking God to move so many of my friends forward in life, business, ministry. I was like, Lord, there's so many people that my wife and I really love and care about, and they're just one or two steps away from being very successful in so many different areas of their life. And as I was praying, I felt that the Lord really gave me six things, six major things that people may need to realign in to move forward in what he's given them to do. The first one is very simple and it is plain. It is God himself and it is in their daily devotion. I felt the Lord was showing me there's so many people who want to do great things in their life and they want to move forward with business. They want to move forward in their marriage and, and they'll move forward in their ministry or whatever. And I felt the Lord say that when things start moving for people, a lot of people cut their devotion time back with him. My friends, when God blesses you, when God elevates you, when God blesses you with something new, your time with God should increase, it shouldn't decrease. And I feel the Lord saying that people need to have an awareness of Him. It's that awareness of God that He is in the midst of doing this. And so I feel the Lord is saying a lot of people need to have a major realignment in their time with Him. Make sure you're in the Word of God every day. Make sure you're praying, make sure you're journaling, and make sure that you fast on a regular basis. Number two, I felt the Lord say that a lot of people don't fully understand their calling or their grace. You know, the Bible talks about the fivefold ministry. You know, the Bible also talks about gifts of administration, gifts of help. You know, there's a lot of people who are trying to operate in something that they're not called to be. You see a lot of people who are pastors who are trying to be apostles. Well, that won't ever work. You see some people with the teaching gift that may try to be a prophet. Well, that won't ever work. You know, you gotta understand, even in the business world, you have people that operate in the apostolic gift in the building mode, building stages of things. You see apostles come in and build something, but they may not be the pastor of that business. And what happens a lot of time is when somebody comes in with the building mode, building mindset of a business, they build the business, but then they're not able to pastor the business. They need somebody that walks in the office of a teacher to come in and teach in the business. I hope that is making sense to you. There's a lot of people that they don't understand their calling and they don't understand the grace that they have. See, whenever you step into the grace that God has given you, things start to flourish. You know, I'm an apostle. I walk in the office of an apostle. I also have the calling of the apostle and I walk in the grace of an apostle. Well, in my life, I tried to be an evangelist. I tried to be a pastor. And me being effective, I was effective to a degree, but not in the fullness, the, the full measure of God, because that was not my grace. It wasn't my calling. It wasn't where my anointing was. So you gotta understand what God has called you to. And when you find out what you're called to do, you, you will realize because it makes all the sense in the world. The next one is the anointing. Understand and know the anointing that God has on your life. Now there's two problems we have. There's a lot of people that their anointing level is right here, but they're insecure and walk in fear so they're living right here. Well, that's not good. Now the other end of the spectrum is a lot of people's anointing level is here and they try to act right here. This will wear you out because there's not grace for that. Know where God has graced you. Know the anointing level upon your life. Don't try to be something that you're not. Be who God has called you to be to the measure that he's called you to be at because if you try to be more than you are, what's gonna happen is that's gonna be led by the flesh. Understand that God has allowed you to go so far in life, ministry, business, and whatever aspect you wanna talk about to the amount the anointing is there, but keep growing with God. The more that you grow with God, the more anointing that you have on your life. Number four, some of you may need to realign yourself in your work ethic. Get to work, come on now. A lot of people are wanting God to do everything for them. Some of you need a good old fashioned work ethic. You need to learn how to work. You need to learn how to get up early in the morning. You need to learn how to apply for overtime. I had a guy tell me a while back, he said, pray for more finances in my life. Joe, pray that my family can have more finances. I said, hey man, you're, you're at a good job that offers overtime. Apply for overtime. He goes, oh man, they offer me overtime all the time. 
I just don't want to do it. Well, then you don't want extra finances because if God has you in that job, you pray for finances, look for the opportunity for overtime. There's a lot of people that want something for nothing. I'm telling you, you need to understand work. You need to understand the work ethic. Nehemiah built a wall. Esther ended up owning a field that she first started working in. Put some work in. Get in there and realign yourself with a good work ethic. Number five is alignment. This is so important, and please hear me on this. People need alignment in their life. And people like, how do you explain that? Well, you know when you take your little kids bowling, you have the bumper guards down the side of the lane. That's what my wife and I feel like a lot of times. We're not going to bowl the ball for you, but we're going to be able to make sure you stay in the middle of the lane. You're going to stay in your lane, and you're going to hit your mark. You know, I've heard people say, well, I don't need anybody in my life, and I don't need anybody to tell me what the Holy Spirit's already telling me. But here's the problem, okay? If somebody starts to slide away from the Holy Spirit and they get off track, how are they then going to hear the Holy Spirit to get back on track? This is what alignment does. Alignment loves you enough to say, hey, I see your anointing falling back. I see your anointing decreasing. I see your wisdom and knowledge decreasing. I see your character decreasing. I see you kind of showing things attention that you didn't show attention to a month ago. Alignment helps keep people on the right mark. They help keep people focused. There's so many great ministers, so many great business owners that were doing great things with their life, but they rejected voices in their life. So what happened when they started losing their character and integrity, they started sliding away. They did not allow a voice of reason to speak into their life, to keep them going down the right avenue, the right lane in life. It's always good to have the right alignment with people in your life that can speak truth into your life. This is why I love prophets and apostles because prophetic people can pick up on the things in your life. Apostles are master builders. Apostles come alongside people to help other people build and to hit the mark that God has called them to. You need an apostle and prophet in your life. And the last one is giving. Some of you need a realignment in your giving. I was recently preaching at a place and a lady came up to me and she said, I'm giving, in fact, I'm giving a lot, but I'm not seeing any return. I said, well, tell me about the places that you give. Don't tell me the names. She said, well, there are three people who are wanting to do something from the Lord, but none of them started. I said, oh, so you're giving your seed into a field that doesn't produce fruit. So why do you think you're gonna get a return on that? See, a lot of people, they don't sow, they don't give, or they're giving into places that there's no fruit. I love giving into kingdom ministries. When I started giving into my apostle and giving in to kingdom-minded people, our finances started flourishing because we were giving into places, good ground that was producing a harvest. So when we put our seed into the ground, it started producing a harvest. Some people, they don't give, or they give in an area that God's not blessing, but they're wanting a harvest. It's like, go get some hard, rocky stone ground and throw a seed and see how fast it grows. But go to a good, fertile field that is well watered, well manicured and taken care of, and we sow seed into that ground and see what happens. A lot of people are just giving into the wrong fields. Find ministries, find businesses that are flourishing. A lot of people aren't giving in to the right places. I love to invest money. When I invest and I check on my investments monthly, I want to make sure the money I'm giving is producing, okay? So check the places that you give and check the fruit of the ministries that you're giving to. So those are six things, six major realignments that you can look at that can help you get into the right place. I have a friend of mine who's a great chiropractor and every now and then I'll go to him. And a lot of times I may feel like something's out of place and I'm ready for him to give me the old piano treatment, this do 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 when he pops my back. But a lot of times if he adjusts my back or my neck, it's one little 
one little alignment makes me feel so much better. You may just have one little thing out of place, but when you get it in the proper alignment, it makes all the difference in the world. I hope this word blessed you.